The objective of the Transec project is to improve the food security situation for the most vulnerable rural population in Tanzania. During five years, approximately 100 researchers in Germany, USA and Tanzania will help local stakeholders to design and to identify successful food securing strategies. The upgrading strategies will be tested and adjusted to site-specific sustainable settings. The aim is to disseminate these strategies for national outreach. Once the best strategies are identified, they will be implemented at different levels of policy, extension and research. Food security is an urgent question. As the world population increases, the demand for agricultural products, such as food, fiber and fuel, grow. The per capita arable land decreases in a dramatic way, especially in Africa. On top of that, climate change, urbanization and environmental degradation will pose short and long-term challenges. The areas with high rainfall, there are areas where the rainfall is not very certain and there are areas which are semi-arid. So the areas which are semi-arid, most of them frequently, they become food insecure. And so it's very important uh, to make sure that even the areas where the rainfall is not uh, reliable, to find means to make sure that the, those people in those areas are food secure and they, they can produce sufficient food for themselves and maybe they can have surplus. I think uh, this is a, a unique project which tries to upgrade the, the food system by working or promoting innovations at different scales, from the local scale where the project will interact with the farmers and at sub-national scale, district level, where we also look at innovations that contribute to the upgrading of different components of the food value chain and also working with the policies at national level to see whether there could be something to improve or to, uh, to do some policy reforms that will actually help upgrade the food value chains and improve the, the food system. So Transec is going to work in two regions of Tanzania, one semi-arid and one sub-humid region. This is uh, the semi-arid Dodoma region in central part of Tanzania and the sub-humid part more to the east of Tanzania. And within both regions, we have two case study sites. These are village clusters of 800 to 2,000 households. And uh, within these villages, we will um, work together with local stakeholders along the food value chain. A food value chain is a research model that allows us to analyze all possible activities at farm level along the natural resources to production towards the consumption of food uh, and including bioenergy activities. At the very end, everything what improves the food security situation at local level. I specialize in gender issues, so the objective of mine is try to see the participation of women and men and the other gender group on the food value chain, on the chosen villages, to see how the gender, how different gender groups are integrated in uh, the food value chain, and if they are participating the same according to their gender roles and their culture. PhD students are also given the opportunity to take part in internship programs abroad. The intercultural exchange and mutual learning is essential for their scientific and social competences, which in turn contribute to the success of the entire project. On one hand, um, you can learn from each other. You can see how the different science culture works within different institutions, within different countries. Um, but on the other hand, of course, if, if you stay, we are staying here right now, we're trying to understand better how the, how the social structure is, how people interact. If, can, if Tanzanian um, PhD students come to Germany, 
there is a very big likeliness that they will understand better how the social interactions in Germany work and respectively do incorporate that better in the joint working process. Uh, the specific study, specific objective of my work is to look at the variability of solar hydraulic properties in the case study sites for the Transec project. The key contribution the study will give to the project will be in helping to optimize water management for the context of the study sites to help upscale some of the good management practices for the farmers within the study areas. Conflicts and severely challenging situations can produce unhealthy and highly unfulfilling working environments. They can endanger the success or even cause the challenge of research projects. CPM works on different levels. First of all, it, it works that simply it is there. Yeah, this already raises awareness for people, for situations, how they cooperate and how cooperation can work. Yeah, secondly, is we do awareness training. Yeah, we raise awareness about the issue, what can happen in, an, in a, a distant organization like Transec. And um, people then hopefully easier can handle situations later on. The aim of my dissertation is to develop a model of uh, conflict prevention and management for international and transdisciplinary projects because global challenges such as food security or also climate change are highly complex issues that need the uh, cooperation expertise of scientists from different disciplines but also organizations and countries. First, I learned that tropic tag means uh, tropical day, tropical day in Germany. So I have found that a lot of people from tropical countries are here, and we have seen a lot of uh, uh, research activities that are being done in these tropical countries, Asia and Africa, which are so impressive. And they seem to be uh, people-centered, you know, getting technology to the people. I was so much impressed about it. What is my impression as local organizer of this conference? We have uh, an overwhelming response to this conference. There are more than 1,000 people actually here discussing with us the right food system. And uh, what is the right food system? Which food systems do we need to feed the world in the future? It's a mutual uh, um, process of understanding and of learning because uh, we can also learn a lot from Tanzania and from research in, in Tanzania. And I think at the very end it's a win-win situation for everybody.